Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to root S off and install Clockwork Mod on your HTC Evo 3D, the CDMA version, or I believe this will work in the GSM version as well. Otherwise, uh, you, this is only for HBoot versions 1.4 and 1.3. To check your HBoot version, just go ahead and pop out your battery out of your Evo 3D and then put it back in and then basically press the volume down and power button at the same time press and hold both of those and keep it held down until you get into the bootloader and it'll tell you your H boot version up at the top of your screen. If it's 1.5, there's actually a roundabout way to do all of this and I'll try and get a video up for you guys for that version. I'll have to do some research on that. Otherwise, uh, this is only for 1.3 and 1.4 H boot versions. So you're gonna need to, uh, first of all, make sure you do have HTC Sync installed on your PC. That'll be the drivers for your phone. If you do have problems with that, uninstall a HTC Sync, but don't uninstall any other HTC drivers, only the HTC Sync part, if this is giving you any problems at all. Otherwise, click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this website. It is rooting via Revolutionary, as you can see. So big thanks to the teams on Revoked and Alpha Rev. Huge thanks to them for this tool and letting us do this. Otherwise, you're going to need to go ahead and scroll down. You're going to need to download it. It's going to be a download for Windows or Linux, whichever one you prefer. It's just going to be a zip file down here. You're going to need WinZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip to extract it. Otherwise, it's actually going to pop up another screen. It says beta key right here. Uh, you're going to need to tell what the operating system, whether you're Windows or Linux, your device. So this actually, this works for an, a bunch of different devices actually. As you can see, this method's gonna work for all of these. Just pick your device. As I said, HTC Evo 3D CDMA, this will work for GSM as well. Just select GSM instead. And then find your HBoot version. As I said, only 1.3, 1.4, select 1.4. And then you're gonna need to type in your serial number. Uh, they don't do anything bad with your serial number. Their ser serial number is actually located underneath your battery. It'll, it'll just be SN and then a number. I'm not gonna show you guys, just, just to be on the safe side. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna need your serial number. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my serial number and click generate key and I'll be right back okay and then once you type in your serial number it'll actually give you a beta key do not lose this beta key make sure you save this somewhere uh, whether it's just in a word document or a notepad etc i'm going to block it just in case just to be on the safe side i'm not sure if anything can happen bad but otherwise you're going to need this beta key so make sure you copy it somewhere and now that you got your beta key and everything else all set, you're gonna need to, I'm actually just gonna recommend making a folder on your desktop. Just hit uh, new and then folder, and then just call it something like revolutionary. That's just what I'm gonna call it. You can call it whatever you want, whether it's Evo 3D, etc. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you have a, this is my recommendation to have a folder on your desktop. Then once you're done there, go into your downloads folder, wherever your downloads are, wherever that revolutionary Point four pre four is make sure you uh, have that. As I said, you're gonna need WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, etc. Just a, a zip program. Double click on it, and you're gonna need have a bunch of files. You're actually gonna need to extract all these files into that revolutionary folder that's on your desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these and click and drag them into my revolutionary folder. So just extract all of those files into the revolutionary folder. And once that's done, you're good to go. So you got your revolutionary right there. Uh, after that's done, you can actually go ahead and power on your your Evo 3D. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my battery back into my Evo and then power it back on. Okay, and now my Evo 3D has turned back on. I'm gonna actually have you guys do a couple things before we can get this started. First of all, on your Evo, hit menu, go to settings, and then go to applications right there and then click on development. After that, just check USB debugging. Make sure USB debugging is checked and hit okay. That's actually a key thing to do. So make sure you have USB debugging checked. I'm also gonna have you guys uninstall HTC Sync on your PCs. I know I said earlier, uh, you can try it with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and recommend you uninstall it. So to do so on your PC, 
To uninstall it, hit the start button in the bottom left, hit control panel right there. Select control panel and then pr under programs, hit uninstall a program. It's gonna populate the list and then find HTC Sync. As you can see, it has HTC Sync as well as a bunch of other drivers up above it. Only uninstall HTC Sync. So click on HTC Sync and then uninstall right there. So select uninstall. Are you sure you wanna uninstall it? Hit yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this uninstall HTC Sync for me and then I'll be right back. Okay, and as you can see, I've uninstalled the HTC Sync. I still have the two drivers there, but HTC Sync is gone. So I'm good to go there. Now the next step I'm gonna have you guys do is downloading a zip file to put onto your Evo 3D. So what I'm gonna have you guys do is click on this link right here. It'll be, click on the link in the description of the video. It'll take you to the Android Creative Syndicate forum, as you can see right there and scroll down and click on this SU zip. It's gonna actually download it straight to your PC. It's gonna look like this, SU 2.3.6.3 right there. And you're gonna to need to put that onto your SD card of your Evo 3D. So go ahead and plug in your Evo 3D into your PC and then mount it as a disk drive. So go ahead and unlock it and then disk drive and hit done. Once that's done, it should pop up something on your PC. In my case, it's installing device driver software, so go ahead and let that install your uh, driver software, and then it should pop up with open folder to view files. All right, so as you can see now, it says open folder to view files. Select that, and it'll bring up your SD card. Now go ahead and go to your downloads folder right there, and then find that SU zip file that you downloaded right here select it and then drag it over to your SD card. So click and drag it onto your removable disk right there. So select that, drag it on over, and you'll be good to go. It shouldn't take long to transfer. Once that's on your SD card, you're good to go. Right click on your SD and hit eject. So eject it out of your PC, and then you can, I'm actually gonna recommend you unplug it. And once that's done, you can actually plug it back in because now we're ready to run Revolutionary on your phone. So go ahead and plug it on back in and then only have charge only on. So make sure you select charge only, hit okay, and it should have USB debugging on as well. So make sure USB debugging is connected and right there. And once that's done, you're good to go. So now go ahead and go back to your desktop and double click on that revolutionary folder right there. Double click on it, it'll open uh, a bunch of those files. Just double click on the revolutionary application right there and hit run. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and open a command prompt. As you can see, it'll show your serial number actually, and it's asking you to enter your beta key. So, go back to that beta key I told you to save earlier in the video and copy that to your clipboard. So, copy that beta key onto your clipboard, and then go ahead and up at the top, right click on the top of the screen, and then hit edit, go over edit, and then hit paste. So it's gonna paste that beta key. I'm going to try and blur all this stuff out so just no personal data gets used, anything like that. But it should say it found your device, should tell you your uh, HBoot version, your Android version, and uh, everything like that. And you should be good to go. Hit enter once you have your beta key entered in and said beta key accepted. Thank you for, for participating. Zerging root, this might take a minute or so, so go ahead and be patient. This should, uh, this might take a little while. It's gonna give you S off, which what S off is, is it's gonna turn your security off to your bootloader, so it's gonna allow you to install a custom recovery on your device, which will allow you to flash ROMs, kernels, themes, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit here. I'm gonna go ahead and wait, let you guys see how long it's gonna take. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I've actually ran the same uh, rooting application with the, the original HTC Evo 4G, and it worked very well. Revolutionary root is awesome for HTC phones. Okay, so now it says root acquired, sending to Carolina cleaning up. I believe it might have, uh, it says waiting for fast boot, so it's gonna actually reboot your phone into your bootloader. So as you can see, it rebooted the phone into the bootloader. And it's gonna reboot again. So it's gonna go ahead and reboot the phone once again. And then it says, communications with phone unexpectedly 
interrupted. Try again. Press almost any key to exit. So, as you can see, apparently it has failed. My phone still says S on. I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna exit out of it. I'm going to run it again. Okay, so I went ahead and rebooted my EVO 3D and I plugged it back in and I started Revolutionary and this time it actually, what I, what I would recommend, if you do get that connection error, try and reboot your PC, try and uh, use a different USB port on your PC as well as using a different cable. So if you're getting that connection error like I did and showed earlier, try a different PC, try a different cable, etc. So try and reinstall HTC Sync and uninstall it again. So those are just options in case you get that connection error. But I plugged it back in, USB debugging is on charge only, and when my revolutionary tool popped up, it said your device is already S off. So when you go to your bootloader at the top, it should say revolutionary S off, which mine did. So just a heads up there. Otherwise, it'll ask you, do you want to download and flash clockwork mod recovery? So hit shift Y to hit yes and hit enter. So now it says downloading recovery for your phone. So it's gonna download the Clockwork Mod recovery and then it should push it. It should actually reboot your phone into fast boot if it isn't in fast boot. So it's gonna go ahead and reboot my phone into fast boot, as you can see right there. And up at the top, you see it's pink, says revolutionary and S off. So up at the top, you'll see revolutionary. Here, I'll just zoom in on it. Revolutionary S off up at the top. So. You know that's good, it says flashing recovery, success, and it should exit out of the script, and you actually should be good to go. That's it, so it's done. Revolutionary is done, you have clockwork mod recovery as well as uh, S off, so awesome. That's the main steps right there. If you did were to reboot your phone, you wouldn't have the sup you wouldn't have super user permission, so you're not fully rooted yet. Go ahead and unplug your phone. You don't need it plugged in anymore. Otherwise, what you're gonna, I'm going to have you guys do is select to navigate through the bootloader volume up and down and power button to select. So just when it's highlighted on bootloader, press the power button and it'll go into the bootloader. It should, it'll check for uh, a zip file on your SD card. Otherwise, then you're good to go. So as I said, press the volume down button and go to recovery. Highlight over recovery and press the power button. It should reboot your phone into clockwork mod recovery. To get into the bootloader, as I said earlier, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. It'll take you into the bootloader. All right, so there you go. Now you have clockwork mod. It'll take you to clockwork mod. As you can see, revolutionary clockwork mod version 4.0.1.4. .4. I do recommending this to twerp recovery, team win recovery. I will do a separate video showing you how to do that and link that in the description of the video for you guys. So as I said, this will take you into clockwork mod. And once you're in clockwork mod, to navigate volume up and down, just like the bootloader and power button to select. So same thing. So go down to install zip from SD card, press the power button to select it, and then choose zip from SD card, press that the power button to select that, and then navigate to wherever that SU zip is. So you got that SU 2.3.6.3 zip, select it, yes, install. So install that zip file. And what that's gonna do is actually give you super user access. Install from SD card complete, Go hit go back, and reboot system now. So go ahead and re reboot your HTC Evo 3D. Once it boots up, you'll have S off, clockwork mod, and root access. I'll go ahead and show you guys that as well once this boots up. All right, now that my 3D has rebooted, uh, no, no data was wiped. So as you can see, no data is wiped with this process. I'm gonna go to my app drawer. I installed an app from the market called Root Check Basic right there. Also, as you can see in the bottom left, you have Super User right there. So I'm gonna go to Root Check Basic, hit Agree, and then I'm just gonna hit Verify Root Access right there. It should pop up Super User Request. So there you go, I'm rooted. Have Clockwork Mod Recovery and I have Super User Permissions. Congratulations, you have Root Access. That's it, you're good to go. I also want to have you guys do something now that you have Clockwork Mod installed. What I'm going to recommend is that you make an Android backup. What an Android backup is, is it will backup everything on your phone. It's going to backup your 
uh, basically your system, it's gonna back up your apps, everything, your contacts. It's not gonna allow you, and what it's gonna do is if you can, if for some reason anything happens to your phone, you can restore that and it'll go back to exactly how it was when you made the an Android backup. So it's just a nice thing to have. It'll back up your WiMAX keys. What that is is if your phone loses your WiMAX keys, it, it will obviously allow cause WiMAX not to work. So go to backups and restore, select it with the power button, and then hit backup. So it's gonna back up, and it's gonna take a while, so be patient with it. It's gonna go ahead and do an Android backup, and once that's done, I'm, I'll, I'll be right back. I do also wanna point out, if you, for some reason, reboot your phone and need to get back into clockwork to do so, you power off your phone, you have to pull the battery out and put it right back in, then press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Keep it held down, it'll take you into the bootloader, and then press the volume down button once to highlight recovery, and press the power button to select recovery, and it'll take you right back into clockwork mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this do the Android backup, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, backup complete and Android backup's done, and that's it. You're good to go. Just go ahead and reboot your phone. You can use it as you wish, flash any ROM, kernel, theme, etc. I'll be doing videos on all of that good stuff. I'll actually do a separate video as well on how to basically get free wireless Wi-Fi tethering on your Evo. So click on the link to that. I'll be doing a how to unroot back to stock video as well. I'll put that in the link in the description. So, as I said, this is uh, how to fully S off, root, and clockwork mod your HTC Evo 3D whether, when you're on HBoot 1.3 and 1.4. If you do have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask. Please leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. I hope this video helped you guys out. And subscribe to me for future videos, future 3D videos, as well as future Android videos in general. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Links will be in the description of this video. And thanks for watching. I, I hope you guys like the video.